Welcome back. Manchester United manager Ten Hag claims Sofian Amrabat can play in four different roles. Sofian Amrabat will not make his Man United debut this weekend after his arrival on transfer deadline day. United completed the deadline day arrival of Amrabat from Fiorentina on a season-long loan for $10 million, with the option to sign the Morocco International for $25 million. Despite doubts among some members of United's recruitment staff, the club eventually backed Ten Hag with the addition of a player he coached at FC Utrecht between 2015-17. Amrabat, 27, was recruited primarily as a defensive midfielder, so United had a second specialist after Casemiro, who missed eight games last season through suspension. Ten Hag confirmed Amrabat is out of the Premier League visit of Brighton today, Saturday, after he withdrew from the Morocco squad but expanded on the options he offers the squad. Not today because he is not available, Ten Hag said. But what we missed in our squad was behind Casemiro, another one, typical holding midfielder. So with him, we have one. You see the overload on games, so we need a type. But also, Amrabat can play alongside Casemiro because he is also capable to play in a higher position on the pitch. Also, he can play as a wingback or fullback. Ten Hag also downplayed United's right-hand side issues after the club announced Antony would take an indefinite leave of absence amid investigations in Brazil and by Greater Manchester Police into allegations of assault. Jaden Sancho has been banished from first-team training. Ahmad is recovering from a knee injury. Mason Greenwood is on loan at Getafe and will not play for United again, while Facundo Pellistri has only started once for the club in three years. Captain Bruno Fernandes shifted to the right a number of times last season and could be relocated there for the fixture with Brighton. I think we constructed the squad smart. We have many options there, so I don't worry about that, Ten Hag shrugged. We have options to play there, elsewhere. Paul Merson says Manchester United need to stop hiding behind the Glazers' situation and has called on the players to stand up and be counted as they prepare to host Brighton in a crucial Premier League clash at Old Trafford today, Saturday. Manchester United are down in 11th, six points behind Premier League leader and neighbors Manchester City after an up-and-down start to the season. Eric Ten Hag's side, who are yet to pick up a point away in the league this season, spent the international break mulling over a six-point return from their opening four games, which leaves them already playing catch-up on the teams they want to challenge at the top end of the table. In his latest column for SkySports.com, Merson discusses the latest at Man United ahead of a crucial run of games in the Premier League and Champions League. The results haven't been great at the start of the season. They had the defeats in North London, but Wolves could have got something at Old Trafford and Nottingham Forest were also a bit unlucky there. There's the Jaden Sancho issue and the noise around Harry Maguire. The transfer window also wasn't the best, so there is pressure building on Ten Hag. For me, he has to find some answers on the pitch. He needs to win football matches, and he will know that. This is Man United. They need to get into the top four. At the moment, it feels like everyone is hiding behind the situation with the Glazers. They are in the firing line for everything, it seems, but they don't play the game. Of course, they could invest in the stadium, but a brand new state-of-the-art stadium isn't going to make the players play better. Turf Moor isn't nice, but Burnley still do well. Hiding behind the Glazers every time there is a defeat needs to stop. It's time for the players to stand up, be counted, and get results. Manchester United need a result against Brighton. It's a huge game for Ten Hag and his side. It's not been the easiest of starts for United, but they were a centimeter away from not a bad start, with Alejandro Garnacho's offside goal at Arsenal. Nine points from your opening four matches, including trips to Arsenal and inform Tottenham, reads pretty well. We'd be waxing lyrical about United now had things gone their way at the Emirates. But that shows you the fine margins involved. Garnacho's late goal is ruled out. Declan Rice and Gabriel Jesus strike late, and the pressure increases on United after two wins and two losses from their first four games. Meanwhile, when your targets at the start of the season include the Premier League title, you cannot afford three defeats in your opening five games. That is why the Brighton game is such a big one for United. 
again and again. Eric Ten Hag is dealt another blow as Sofian Amrabat is ruled out of Man United's clash with Brighton after he was forced out of Morocco duty through injury. Manchester United midfielder Sofian Amrabat has been ruled out of Saturday's game against Brighton due to injury. The deadline day loan signing from Fiorentina pulled out of the Morocco squad due to injury last week. Man United were aware Amrabat had a slight problem with his back but still allowed him to join up with his national side. But the 27-year-old sat out the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Liberia and the friendly with Burkina Faso as a precaution. And Amrabat will also miss the Premier League encounter with Brighton on Saturday. But United boss Eric Ten Hag expects him to be fit again soon. Ten Hag told the club's official website, Amrabat, he came back, unfortunately, with the injury, so he will not be available for tomorrow, Saturday. But, I think, on the short notice soon, yes. Mason Mount, Raphael Varane, Luke Shaw, and Terrell Malaysia have also been ruled out of the game by injury. Winger Anthony is currently spending time away from the club while he addresses allegations of domestic abuse. The player denies any wrongdoing and has not been arrested or charged. His natural replacement, Jaden Sancho, has been officially exiled ahead of the game after his public falling out with Ten Hag. So, Louis Saha claims Sofian Amrabat will bring something special to his old club. Ex-Manchester United striker Saha believes the lone recruit from Fiorentina will plug gaps in Eric Ten Hag's midfield and offer a surprising amount going forward. Morocco star Amrabat hopes to land a permanent switch next summer. And Saha told Betfred, The addition of Sofian means that Manchester United can plug some of the gaps in their midfield and he will bring something special to the team, as well as his leadership credentials. I really like the profile of the player, and we may look at Sofian as just a defensive midfielder, but he's capable of bombing forward, creating chances, recovering the ball, and he can disrupt the opposition's attack as much as Casemiro can do. It will be interesting to see how the pair of them play together. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag believes that setting clear standards and not wavering from them is key to harnessing good culture and enjoying success at Manchester United. The boss spoke to media on Friday at the club's Carrington Training Ground, ahead of the visit of Brighton and Hove Albion on Saturday, 15 Knackers p.m., British summer tea time. Among the topics put to the Dutchman by the media were his methods of instilling the right culture behind the scenes, something that has gained a lot of attention since he took charge last year. Eric says it is his duty to set the example that his players should follow and enforce it when necessary. Keeping the straight line is not the point, he said, when asked about the Jaden Sancho situation. The club asked me because there was no good culture before I entered last season to set some standards and that's what I did. It's my job to control the standards and of course, it's never been when one person just makes one mistake. There is a whole process before you come to a certain outcome about straight lines. If staff, players, or whoever, there will always be a structure to cross lines. You have to be strong, absolutely. Eric explained the reasoning behind such rules and standards and why he allows none of his players to stray from the common goal. It's also you live with this generation about team construction, the group dynamic, but it is always about the team, he said. Team is ahead of everything else, and in the team, everyone plays a different role. There are different characters, and you have to manage those characters, but also, as I said, the team is always above anything else.